Hey folks, it's Meili here, and in this video, I want to talk about the artist panel. So if you haven't gotten a chance to kind of explore the artist panel yet, let's do so together in this video today. So let's start by navigating to the artist panel. You can do that uh, via the artist hub. And once we're here, let's start by just taking a look at what is in front of us. So up top, we have our uh, latency options button. I suggest that you guys kind of stay in standard latency, uh, just to ensure that in case any network fluctuations happen, that your stream is still able to continue as smoothly as possible. So right under that, we see your custom stream URL right here. And here we have your custom key. So if you haven't punched both of these into your Streamlabs yet, go ahead and do so, so that your Streamlabs is properly connected and registered into your artist panel. So right under, we have a preview screen. So this is what you'll see before you actually go live in front of your fans. So once you go live on your artist stream, you should see that video preview show up right here. So for example, if you're toggling between scenes, paying attention to the screen right here uh, will be great for making sure that you're on the correct scene and you're gonna start off um, showing your fans exactly what it is that you wanted to show them. So of course, right under there, we have our go live button that will bring your feed to this screen over here on the right. So this screen represents or will reflect exactly what your fans are actually seeing. So if we take a look at this icon here, this eye icon, um, we'll see a number right now, it says zero. However, this icon actually will show us um, the number of unique viewers during our stream within an hour. So all you need to do is just kind of click on it and it should give you that number. So right under, I want to show you guys this applause button. Uh, this is a super cool feature. Once you click turn on applause, what will happen it is that it'll set off an effect um, on the fan side of things in which there will be like cheers, claps, and things like that. And your fans kind of click on this particular mechanism to send you guys uh, love. Um, so. Uh, t one thing to know about this feature though is that because of latency, once you click turn on applause, the applause won't actually occur to your fans until 30 seconds after you click the button. So you can actually use this feature uh, to your advantage um, to uh, basically time uh, applauses, uh, you know, at the end of a song or at your, the end of a stream or something like that. So right under that, we see this kind of blank uh, space. Basically, this is where your chats will come in in real time. So here you'll see who is coming into your streams, who is messaging you, and you can kind of uh, you know respond to them and engage with your fans in real time, which is super cool. So let's come back to the middle here. Here we see our song request queue, which you can enable so that your fans can actually request songs during your stream. And right under that, we see this love from fan section. Here you can see love uh, coming in in real time as well. So if fans are donating love to you during your streams, you can see who is donating and what amount so that you can thank them personally. So now that we've covered what we see right in front of us on this main page, let's take a closer look at the toolbar here. So we have our song requests. Uh, we have our love, we have our inbox in which we can re uh, receive direct uh, mentions or uh, messages. Right under that we have our crew where we can see our crew activity. Crew fee where we can kind of, um, uh, kind of write a message for our crew. Under schedule here, I'm gonna click into this. So here you can actually schedule uh, your solo show. So this, I'm actually going to go in in much uh, deeper detail in another video. So stay tuned for that video because this is really important. So VIP experience. So this is upcoming, stay tuned for this. Settings, of course, here you can kind of customize um, what your fans see. And then again, we have tutorial and FAQ where you can kind of, um, it's a resource that uh, can kind of give you a deeper understanding of the artist panel. 
So that's all we have here in the artist panel. Um, so if you haven't gotten a chance to explore this, try streaming for the first time, I encourage you guys to do that. And of course, as always, stay tuned for the other videos in this video series to learn more about how to be an artist here on Sessions.